Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. I am Anjana from LearnoHub, the free learning platform where you can study math, science and SST absolutely free at LearnoHub.com. In today's class, we are going to discuss ICC class 9 physics chapter 1 measurements and experimentations. We have discussed the topic of different fundamental quantities and their SI units in the previous session. Also, we have solved questions from exercise 1a. So, here we will be discussing the topic measurement of length and solving questions from exercise 1b. Are you ready for the session? Measurement of length. In our previous class, we have begun the class with the measurement of the length and breadth of this board. Okay, you remember I used this pen and a pencil to measure the length and breadth of this board. Later, we have said that these are not standard measurements. Yes, then we said we can use a meter scale in order to measure the length and breadth. Yes, also we had a box whose length, width and the height we are measuring using pen and pencil. Later we said we can use a meter scale or a measuring tab in order to measure this. You will be getting correct and accurate value from wherever the measurement is done. Yes, we know measurement of length. That is length is measured in kilometers, length is measured in meters, length is measured in centimeters length is measured in millimeters and there are smaller other units to measure length. Now my question is here I have two things which are used in order to measure the length. Okay, We have a meter scale and here we have a measuring term. Okay. Normally we know that a meter scale is of length 1 meter which means it is 100 centimeters. Okay, in this 100 centimeter, now here we have a 30 centimeter scale. Okay, 30 centimeter scale which you will be using in your maths classes. So, here in this 30 centimeter scale, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 30. Okay, other than this, you can see some smaller lines. Okay, here if it is 1, this line will show 0 0.1 centimeter. Okay, the first point that is here, you will be having 0 0.1 centimeter. So, when you take, if this is the starting that is 0 and here if you have the 1 that is this 1, okay, between them you can find 10 lines, okay. The fifth line will be bigger, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here we will be having 1. So, this is 0 0.5 centimeter and this is 0 0.1 centimeter, 0 0.2 centimeter, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and this is 1. Now, if you have a pencil, okay, you have to measure the length of the pencil. If this pencil is kept here, that is one end of the pencil you will be keeping at the 0. Here you will be keeping Okay, let's say up to here you have the length. Then you can easily say that the pencil is of length 10 centimeter. Now, my question is if you are measuring something such that the value is somewhere here, that is the other end of the object is here. Okay, you can see that this is 0 0.5, then this will be 0 0.6 centimeter. Okay, and this will be 0 0.7 centimeter. Okay, but you can see the end of the object is here. That is neither at 0 0.6 centimeter nor at 0 0.7 centimeter. We can understand it lies between 0 0.6 centimeter and 0 0.7 centimeter. In this case, how do we make the measurement? Can we use this meter scale in order to measure? Can you use this measuring tab? Even in measuring tab, the least value that you will be getting is 0.1 centimeter. Okay. In this case, we will understand there should be some other device that will help us measure the values. Yes. So, we will be studying in this chapter about these devices that are used to measure smaller lengths. Okay. For example, I have this book. I need to measure the thickness of the cardboard that is being used to make the book. Okay, in this case, do you think the meter scale is going to help me? No, right? You can see that 
this thickness will be below 0.1 centimeter. When it is below 0.1 centimeter, you cannot use the meter scale to measure. Yes. So, we will see what device can be used in order to measure the thickness of the cardboard. Of First, you need to understand the least count of a measuring instrument. What is least count? It is very simple. We have said about the meter scale, about the scale. Ruler we have said, okay, in the ruler, the smallest length that can be measured is 0 0.1 centimeter or 1 millimeter. 1 millimeter is the smallest length that can be measured. The smallest length that can be measured using the device is called the least count. Okay. In case of a scale, it is 0 0.1 centimeter. Okay. Now consider the stopwatch. Here you can see 60, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Between the 60 and 5, you can find other lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 lines. Okay. Which means each one will be 0.5 seconds. This is 5 seconds. This is 10 seconds. This is 15 seconds. Then each line will be 0.5 seconds. So here from 0 to 1, we are getting a range, right? The range is equal to range is equal to we are taking this 1 centimeter minus 0. Okay, that is 1 centimeter is the range. In this 1 centimeter, how many divisions are there? How many lines are there that we are counting? Okay, This 1 centimeter is divided into 10 parts. Yes. So, dividing by that 10, you will be getting the least count value. Least count, you are getting 1 centimeter by 10, which is equal to 0 0.1 centimeter. Same here. This is 5 seconds. 5 seconds divided by 10 divisions. So, 5 divided by 10, you will be getting 0 0.5 seconds. Okay. Now, what about this emitter? What is emitter? Emitter is a device that is used to measure the current. Okay. To measure current, you will be using a meter. Smaller current can be measured using milliameter, micrometer, etc. Whatever it is. So, here you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, if you are reading is somewhere here, okay, your needle is somewhere here. It is not 0, it is not 1, but you will be able to measure this, yes. Number of divisions you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, the range is 1 ampere minus 0 ampere. Number of divisions is 10 divisions, which means each one of this line, each one of this division will be showing you 0 0.1 ampere. Okay, Each one will be 0 0.1 ampere. If my reading is here, if my needle is here, you can count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? It is at the fifth division. Each one is 0 0.1. So, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 ampere is my current. Okay, what if it is at this point? Okay, what if my needle is here? In this case, it has crossed 2. Okay, then 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.60, 2.61, 2.62, 2.63, 2.64, 2.65, 2.66, 2.67, 2.68, 2.69, 2.70, 2.71, 2.72, 2.73, 2.74, 2.75, 2.76, 2.77, 2.78, 2.79, 2.80, 2.81, 2.82, 2.83, 2.84, 2.85, 2.86, 2.87, 2.88, 2.89, 2.90, 2.91, 2.92, 2.93, 2.94, 2.95, 2.96, 2.97, 2.98, 2.99, 2.100, 2.101, 2.102, 2.103, 2.104, 2.105, 2.106, 2.107, 2.108, 2.109, 2.110, 2.111, 2.112, 2.113, 2.114, 2.115, 2.116, 2.117, 2.118, 2.119, 2.120, 2.121, 2.122, 2.123, 2.124, 2.125, 2.126, 2.127, 2.128, 2.129, 2.130, 2.131, 2.132, 2.133, 2.134, 2.135, 2.136, 2.137, 2.138, 2.139, 2.140, 2.151, 2.152, 2.153, 2.154, 2.155, 2.156, 2.157, 2.158, 2.159, 2.160, 2.170, 2.171, 2.172, 2.173, 2.174, 2.175, 2.176, 2.177, 2.178, 2.179, 2.180, 2.181, 2.182, 2.183, 2.184, 2.185, 2.186, 2.187, 2.188, 2.189, 2.190, 2.191, 2.192, 2.193, 2.194, 2.195, 2.196, 2.197, 2.198, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199, 2.199,
okay which is a perfect value we can take it will be 0 0.1234 centimeters yes it is not 0 0.1 centimeter it is not 0 0.12 centimeter or 0 0.123 centimeter this will be the most accurate value because the number of decimals are increasing yes the number of decimals are increasing so this one will be the same but the divisions that is the number of decimal points are increasing and that will make it more accurate so this is what the concept of least count is for every device the smallest value that can be measured is the least count clear so if you're using a milliameter okay if you're using the if you're taking the case of a milliameter in case of milliameter it will be like 0 1 2 3 4 5 so milliampere the current is measured in milliampere in that case what will be one division so here this is 1 milliampere this is 2 milliampere here what is the range 1 milliampere minus 0 okay you will be having 10 divisions 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay you will be having 10 division what does one division mean okay if your needle is at this point first point what does it mean what will be it be equal to here we have 1 millimeter so the least value that can be measured will be 0 0.1 milliampere 0 0.1 milliampere is the least value that can be measured using a millimeter we have discussed about meter scale using a meter scale you can only measure the least value that can be measured or the least count of a meter scale is 0 0.1 centimeter what if we have to measure the length which is smaller than that in that case the devices that we are used or the instruments that can be used are first one is vernier calipers and the second one is screw gauge okay so we'll be discussing in this class in detail about these two devices vernier calipers and screw gauge which will be giving more accurate results principle of vernier this is how a vernier looks like so here there are two scales one is the main scale and second is the vernier scale that is the scale the scale which is below you can call it the main scale on this main scale you will be having reading so here you can see up to 10 centimeter reading is there starting from zero from zero up to 10 centimeter reading is there okay so when you take the readings here you will be having zero this is one this is two this is three up to 10 you will be having okay so when you take from 0 to 1 so what is it this is 1 centimeter right so up to 0 0.1 each value will be 0 0.1 okay the very next value this is 0 0.1 this is 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 this is a main scale reading now you can see another scale above it this scale is a movable scale or a sliding scale this can be moved okay and the movement of the scale will help us give more accurate results so in this case we have said that in case of a meter scale you can measure values that is the least count is 0 0.1 centimeter so here when you use a vernier the second decimal we will be able to obtain the second decimal as well so this 0 0.1 centimeter is 1 millimeter okay using vernier scale you will be able to get 0 0.1 millimeter or you can get 0 0.01 centimeter this will be the least count for example if you are getting the answer to be 1.28 centimeter you are measuring something and you are getting 1.28 centimeters so you can say that this measurement cannot be made using a meter scale you can use a vernier scale because the second division that is the second decimal is also given so using the vernier scale is how you will be able to find the length clear so this was a more accurate value compared to the previous one okay so these are the two scales and the second scale is helping you find the second decimal value clear so we'll be discussing in detail about the least count of a vernier or we have to first find this is also called vernier constant so first when you are using a vernier calipers or a screw gauge you need to find the least count first so how to find the least count we said least count is the smallest value that can be measured now here in the main scale we have discussed what a main scale and what a vernier scale is so in the main scale let's take one centimeter okay zero to one centimeter there will be 10 divisions here you will be having 0.5 
this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1 centimeter. Okay. So, this is 0.9 centimeter. Okay. Then you will be having a vernier scale like in main scale. Main scale there are 10 divisions. In vernier scale or also there are 10 divisions. But the thing is the 10th division on vernier scale will be at this 0.9 centimeter. Okay. So, here the 0 will be here for the vernier scale also 0 will be here. Okay. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, this is how the divisions would be there. Clear? Now you can see that this is 10 divisions. Okay. So what is the value of one main scale division? Here it is 1 centimeter. You can see that value of one main scale division. This is the first main scale division. Value of one main scale division will be 0 0.1 centimeter. Total 1 centimeter divided by 10. So 0 0.1 centimeter. Now what about the vernier scale division? Here you can see this is total 0.9 centimeter. Okay, this 0.9 centimeter length is divided into 10 parts. Okay, which means each part that is value of one vernier scale reading or value of one vernier scale reading. How much do we get? Total we have 0 0.9 centimeter divided by 10 that is 0 0.09 centimeter. So here it is given that the least count of a vernier is equal to the difference between the value of one main scale division and one vernier scale division. That is least count will be equal to value of one main scale division. We are getting 0 0.1 centimeter minus value of one vernier scale division that is 0 0.09 centimeter. What does this equal to? You will be getting 0. 0, 0.01 centimeter. That is the second decimal we are getting. And this 0. 0.01 centimeter is your least count of the vernier. Okay. Now, main scale divisions. Okay. We can see that 9 main scale division is equal to 10 vernier scale divisions. Yes. Here we have 9, ninth point this is. Okay. Ninth mark this is. And this is equal to 10 divisions on the vernier. Okay. Then you will be having vernier scale division is equal to 9 by 10 into main scale division. Okay. That is if you are taking the vernier scale divisions. That is we have 10. Okay. If you are taking this 10 as n n into vernier scale division will be equal to what is 9? 9? 9 is n minus 1. Okay. n minus 1 main scale division or the vernier scale division is equal to n minus 1 divided by n main scale division. We have least count of vernier or the vernier constant equal to value of one main scale division minus value of one vernier scale division. Then the least count you can write is equal to value of one main scale division. We will represent it as MSD main scale division minus value of one vernier scale division is VSD n minus one divided by n into main scale division. Okay. So, main scale division is common, MSD taken out. Then you will be having 1 minus N minus 1 divided by N. Okay. This N can be taken here. You are taking the LCF. You will be getting MSD into N minus N plus 1 divided by N. N and minus N can be cancelled. Then you will be having 1 by N. What is it? MSD divided by N. What is N? N is a number of divisions on the vernier scale. Okay. Therefore, we can find least count value of one main scale division which is taken as X divided by total number of divisions on the vernier which is represented by N. Okay. This is how you can find the least count of a 
vernier or the vernier con example one figure shows a main scale graduated to read up to 1 millimeter and vernier scale on which the length of 10 division is equal to the length of 9 divisions on the main scale calculate the least count how to find least count first we need value of one main scale division value of one main scale division which is represented by x is equal to here what is it is given that 1 millimeter okay it is 1 millimeter what is the number of divisions on vernier scale number of divisions on vernier scale is equal to given 10 divisions 10 divisions then the least count can be found least count will be equal to x divided by and value of one main scale division divided by total number of divisions on the vernier scale which is 1 millimeter divided by 10 that is 0.1 millimeters 0.1 millimeters is the least count of this instrument now how to measure with the vernier scale this is how a vernier scale looks like this is your main scale okay and you have this vernier scale which is able to slide over the main scale so here you can see we are going to measure the length of a road this is 0 this is 1 1 centimeter 2 centimeter etc okay now you can see that this is the total length of the road how to find the length of the road you can find this is 1.1 and this is 1.2 and the value that is the end lies between 1.2 and 1.3 it is up to here right up to here which means it has crossed 1.2 and is above 1.3 so you cannot take 1.2 or 1.3 okay the reading that can be measured on the main scale is 1.2 centimeter what about the remaining so to measure the remaining you will be using the vernier scale that is when the devices that is the object that is to be measured the length should be measured is placed in between and there will be a screw which can be tightened you will be getting the values there okay so you can first note the main scale reading here the main scale reading is 1.2 centimeter now we need main scale reading is equal to 1.2 centimeter now we need the vernier scale reading how to find the vernier scale reading to find the vernier scale reading here you can see that this ab length okay the main scale reading plus this ab length will give you the correct length of the road this AB length is the vernier scale reading. Vernier scale reading will be equal to. To get vernier scale reading, first you have to find the least count. Here what is the least count? This is 1 centimeter and there are 10 divisions. Therefore, least count will be equal to main scale division. Value of 1 main scale division that is here it is 0 0.1 centimeter. Okay. this is 0 0.1 centimeter number of divisions on the vernier scale here this is your vernier scale number of division is equal to 10 divisions okay by 10 that is 0 0.01 centimeter is a least count after getting least count what you have to do is you have to find where the zero lies okay here we have the zero okay from this you have found a main scale division next thing you have to do is you should find the line that is coinciding with the line on main scale. Okay. Take this. Is it coinciding? No, right? So, the next one. When you check this, it is also not coinciding. This is not coinciding. But when you take this, these are coinciding. Yes, these are coinciding. So, we have to take the value. What is the value? This is 1, 2, 3, 4. This coinciding value, we take it as P. P is equal to, here it is 4. Okay. To get the vernier scale reading, you have to multiply P and the least count. Okay. Here, 4 into 0 0.01, that is 0 0.04 centimeters is the vernier scale reading okay therefore you will be having the length of road is equal to main scale reading 
plus vernier scale reading that is 1.2 cm plus 0.04 cm which is 1.24 cm. So, this is the most accurate length. Okay. If you are using a meter scale, in that case you will be able to say it is 1.2 cm. You won't get the accurate length of the road. Understood? So, here when you start before placing this road, the zero of the main scale and the zero of the vernier scale will be coinciding. Okay. When you place the object, what happens? The zero of the vernier scale will be ahead of the zero of main scale. Clear? Now, let us understand the main parts of a vernier caliper. This is how a vernier caliper looks like. In a vernier caliper, you will be having the main scale. Why is main scale used? To get the readings like 0.1 centimeter, 0.2 centimeter. These readings you can get from the main scale. When you have the vernier scale, we, we have said that vernier scale can be moving above the main scale. Okay, you will be getting more accurate result using the vernier scale. That is 0.01 centimeter, 0.02 centimeters. That is up to second decimal, we will be getting the values when the vernier scale is used. Okay, and you can see the vernier scale sliding over. These vernier calipers are also called slide calipers. Now, you can see that there are two jaws. That is, first is the outside jaws and the second is inside jaws. So, outside jaws, this thing. Okay, and the object will be placed here. So, here I can place this object and tighten it. Okay, you will be having a screw. The screw will be used to tighten after placing the object. So, the object will be place between the jaws J1 and J2 when you need to measure some length. You need to measure the diameter of a spear. So, in all these cases, object will be placed here. Now, why do we need this inside jaws? Inside jaws will be used when you need to measure some internal diameter or you need to measure the length or you need to measure the diameter of a hollow cylinder or if you have a pipe. Okay. So, this is a Pipe. pipe will be in the form of a hollow cylinder. Okay. You cannot place it here. Why? Because in this case when you place you will be getting only the external diameter. So, that case you will be placing it here. So, between the inside jaw you can find the internal diameter. Okay. So, for hollow objects to find internal diameter we will be using the inside jaws. So, these two are the important parts. And here we have a fixed end. Okay, This is a fixed jaw which won't be moving. Both these are fixed jaws. They won't be moving when an object is placed. It is a vernier scale that is moving. And then these two jaws here this and this will be moving. Yes. Okay. Now the third one it is a strip. Strip is this part. Okay. Here we have the strip. So this strip is used in order to measure some depth. Okay, if you are need to measure the depth of a beaker, depth of a beaker or of a bottle, in that case you will be using the strip. Then you have the main scale and vernier scale. We know what the function of main scale and vernier scale is. Yes, to measure these values to get more accurate results that is 0 0.1 millimeter or 0 0.01 centimeter. You will be using vernier scale to measure, help to measure correct up to 0. 1 centimeter or 1 millimeter, we will be using the main scale. We have studied the least count of a vernier. Least count of the vernier can be determined using the x value and n value. x is the value of 1 main scale division and n is the total number of divisions on the vernier scale. So, here in order to get the least count, that is if you want to decrease least count. Okay, how to decrease least count? To decrease least count, one thing that I can do is I can decrease the x value. When x value decreases, the least count will also decrease because they are directly proportional. Yes, the number of divisions we are holding constant and when I am decreasing the x value that is value of one main scale division, I can get the decreased least count. Or the thing that can be done is this is kept constant and n value is increased. Since they are inversely proportional, when the total number of divisions on vernier scale is increased, least count will decrease. So, least count decreases when x decreases or n increases. 
value of one main scale division decreases or the total number of divisions on the vernier scale increases okay zero error in vernier calipers so when you bring the jo j2 and j1 of vernier calipers in touch if the zeros of the main scale and the zero of the vernier scale is coinciding we say the vernier calipers is free of zero errors if that is not the case if in that case when the zeros coincide the ninth division on the main scale and the tenth division on the vernier scale will also be coincide if that is not the case we say there is a zero error that is the zero of main scale and the zero of vernier scale will not be coinciding so the distance between the zero of main scale and the zero of vernier scale is called the zero error there are two types of zero errors one is positive zero error and the second is negative zero error we will discuss them in detail first is positive zero error that is when j1 and j2 meets you can see that the zero of vernier scale is above or in front of or to the right of the zero of main scale yes so here you can see the zeros are not coinciding that is the tenth division of the vernier scale is not coinciding with the ninth division of the main scale here the error we call the positive zero error now how to find the positive zero error to calculate positive zero error we have to find the coinciding value so you can see that the sixth division okay sixth sixth division of the vernier scale is coinciding with the main scale you can see a straight line here okay so this is a coinciding division you take this value okay to find zero error when it is positive zero error you will be putting a positive sign you take this value that is 6 and then multiply it with the least count so here the main scale you can see 1 cm the smallest value that can be measured on the main scale is 0.1 cm 1 divided by 10 divisions so 0.01 cm is the least count which is equal to plus 0.06 cm in this case the positive zero error is plus 0.06 cm now to find the negative zero error in case of negative zero error you can see the zero of vernier scale will be to the left of the zero of main scale okay then the negative zero error will be equal to since it is negative put the negative sign now what you have to do is you will have to subtract so here you have total 10 divisions from this 10 division you will have to subtract the value so here what is the value coinciding value you can see 7 is the coinciding division okay 10 minus 7 into the least count which is 0.01 cm that is equal to minus 10 minus 7 is 3 3 into 0.01 which is 0.03 cm so the negative zero error in this case is 0.03 cm understood how to find the positive and negative zero error correction due to zero error how to get the correct or the perfect reading if you are getting the observed reading let's say it is equal to 2.46 cm okay the observed reading is 2.46 cm there is a zero error okay first let us take there is a positive zero error in case of positive zero error the zero error is equal to positive let's say it is 0.02 cm this is a positive error in that case what you will be doing is you will be subtracting this value that is zero error value with the sign you have to subtract remember that okay from the observed reading you will be subtracting the zero error to get the correct reading so here it will be 2.46 minus 0.02 that is 2.44 cm okay this will be the correct reading now in other case we'll say the same is the observed reading for the device the zero error in this case it is minus 0.02 cm okay then minus of minus 0.02 cm here we are having negative zero error that is 
प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू टू पॉइंट फोर एट सेंटीमीटर दिस विल बी योर करेक्ट रीडिंग क्लियर सो वेन इट इज अ पॉजिटिव जीरो एरर शुड रिमेंबर दर इज अ पॉजिटिव साइन एंड यू विल बी सब्ट्रैक्टिंग दिस वैल्यू फ्रॉम द ऑब्जर्व रीडिंग वेन इट इज अ नेगेटिव जीरो एरर हियर वी हैव अ नेगेटिव साइन एंड ऑल्सो दिस माइनस साइन इट बिकम्स पॉजिटिव एंड द वैल्यू वी विल बी एडिंग टू द ऑब्जर्व रीडिंग यू विल बी गेटिंग द करेक्टेड measurement of length with vernier caliper so here what we are going to do is we are going to measure the breadth of this ac remote using vernier calipers before that first we need to collect some data regarding this vernier calipers first the total number of divisions on vernier scale we need to find what is the total number of divisions here we have 10 divisions okay value of one main scale division the smallest value that can be measured using the main scale it is 0.1 cm least count is main scale division that is a value of one main scale division divided by total number of divisions on the vernier scale 0.1 divided by 10 you will be getting 0.01 cm and then you have to find the zero error so here if the zero of main scale and the zero of vernier scale is not coinciding you will be getting zero error so when you take this when the zeros meet each other i can see that the zeros are not coinciding it is in front okay vernier scale zero is in front the value that is that is coinciding is 1 into the least count 0.01 so you will be getting 0.01 cm as the zero error since it is in front there will be a positive sign we are going to do this experiment three times so for the first time place the remote here Move the vernier scale. So we have to take the main scale reading. Here the main scale reading is thirty nine, and we need to find the vernier division coinciding, which is p. Okay, here I am getting it to be four. So thirty nine it is in the scale. If it is in millimeters, it is thirty nine millimeters, which is three point nine centimeters. So this is three point nine centimeters, and the vernier division that I am getting is four. Coinciding. How will it coincide? If this is the main scale division, this is the Vernier scale division. You can see they are in a straight line. So this value on the Vernier scale will be taken. So Vernier scale reading B will be equal to P into L C. That is four into zero point zero one, which is the least count zero point zero four. Now the observed length is A plus B, three point nine plus. 0.04, which is equal to 3.94. Okay. Now the second time I am repeating it. So placing it, I am getting a value 39 as the main scale reading. But now the coinciding value I can find is 5. Okay. On Vernier scale, the 5 is coinciding with the main scale. So 3.9 and 5, which is 5 into 0.01 equal to 0.05, okay. Now the third time again, once more you are going to do this. So placing it, I'm getting 39 again as the main scale, and now here we are getting 6 to be the coinciding value. So 3.9, 6. Six into zero point zero one, which is equal to zero point zero six. Therefore, three point nine plus zero point zero six, which is equal to three point nine six. Now we have to take the mean of all these observed lengths. Okay, so mean reading will be equal to. We have to add them. 3.94 plus 3.95 plus 3.96 divided by 3. On adding, what do we get? You will be getting 11.85 divided by 3, which is equal to 3.95. Okay, 3.95 centimeters is the mean observed length. Okay, so we have got the mean observed length to be equal to three point nine five centimeters. To get the true value or the true length, we know how to find the observed length. Observed length will be main scale reading plus vernier scale division, that is p into the least count value. So here we have got the observed length 
mean we have taken which is 3.95. We know what the zero error is. Zero error is plus 0 0.01 centimeter. So true length will be equal to observed length that is 3.95 centimeter minus the zero error. The sign is very important which is plus 0 0.01 centimeter that is equal to 3.95 centimeter minus 0.01 centimeter equal to 3.94 centimeters. So, this is the true length or the breadth of the the correct value of the breadth of the AC remote that we have used. Now, let us see how to read the vernier reading. Okay. So, here this is how it is. This is your main scale and this is your vernier scale. Now, first we have to find the least count. What will be the least count? In this case, the least count will be for a normal vernier calculator, 0.01 centimeters. Okay. Here you can see this is your main scale. This is 1 centimeter. 6 minus 5, the range you will be getting. This is 1 centimeter. 1 centimeter, number of divisions is 10. 1 centimeter by 10, you will be getting 0 0.1. Okay, so this 0 0.1 is the value that can that we can read on using this main scale. Then we have to find the total number of divisions on the vernier scale that is equal to 10 divisions. Therefore, 0 0.1 divided by 10, you will be getting 0 0.01 centimeter as the least count. Now, what is the main scale reading? Main scale reading, check the value. So here it starts is, so this is 5, 5. 0.1, 5.2, 5.3. So, the starting is 5.3, between 5.3 and 5.4. So, you will be taking the solver value which is 5.3 centimeter. Now, we have to find the P. To find P, you will have to check these values and you have to get a straight line that is a vernier scale reading that is coinciding with the main scale reading. So, you can find that this line, okay, this is a straight line. Counting, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 is the p value. 6 is the p value. Then, what is the vernier scale reading? Vernier scale reading is p into least count that is equal to 6 into 0 0.01 equal to 0 0.06 centimeters. Okay, 0 0.06 centimeters. Now, what is the observed reading? Observed reading will be equal to first the main scale reading. Here the main scale reading is 5.3 centimeter plus the vernier reading. Vernier reading we got P into LC which is 0 0.06 centimeters. 0 0.06 centimeters that is equal to 5.36 centimeters. So if this vernier calipers is free of zero error, in that case, the value that we read is 5.36. Next, we will be discussing about screw gauge. Screw gauge is also a device that is used to measure lengths. Okay, with accurate lengths can be measured. So, here first we need to understand the principle of a screw. All know what a screw is. This is how a screw looks like. So, you can tighten and loosen the screw. That is, when you rotate it in the clockwise and anti-clockwise directions, it will be moving inside and outside. We know this, right? That is forward and backward. It will be moving. Now, here you can see these. These are called threads. Okay, so when you make one complete rotation of the head, so this is a head. Okay, when you make a complete rotation of the head, what happens is the screw will be moving this much distance forward. Okay, so if you are rotating in the opposite direction, it will be moving this, this much distance backward. That is, between two consecutive threads, the distance will be, this much distance will be moved in a complete rotation of the head. In one complete rotation, this is a distance move. Okay. So, in that case, this is a case of a screw. So, in case of a screw gauge, you will be having a head. Okay. This is a circular head. In the circular head, there will be many divisions. Usually, it will be 50 or it will be 100 divisions. So, when you rotate this, okay, there will be movement. This will be moving forward and backward. You can see the cylindrical part. Okay, with this you can make the measurements. Clear? Okay, so first we need to understand what is the pitch of a screw. Okay, pitch of a screw is the distance moved by it in a complete rotation. Okay, in one rotation how much distance it moves is called the pitch of the 
screw. How to find the least count of a screw? So if you know the pitch, you know how to find the pitch. Pitch is the distance moved by the screw in one complete rotation of the head. Okay, let us say the pitch is equal to 1 millimeter. That is when the complete rotation is made, the screw moves by distance of 1 millimeter. And we have to find the total number of divisions on the circular scale. As we said on the circular scale or the circular head, the total number of divisions either it will be 50 or 100. If a case we are taking, there are 100 divisions. Then the least count will be equal to the pitch of screw divided by total number of divisions on the circular scale. Here 1 millimeter divided by 100 that is equal to 0 0.01 millimeter or 0.001 centimeter. So, this is how you can find the least count. When pitch and the total number of divisions on the head scale is known, you can find the least count. Clear? Next example, if a screw moves by 1 millimeter in one rotation and it has 50 divisions on its circular scale, then find the pitch and least count of the screw. So, here First, we have to find the pitch. What is pitch? Pitch is the distance moved by the screw in one rotation. It is directly given which is 1 millimeter. Now, least count is equal to pitch divided by number of divisions on number of divisions on circular head or the head scale which is equal to 1 millimeter divided by 50 divisions which is 0 0.02 millimeters. So, 0 0.02 millimeters is the least count in this case. Now, this is the structure of a screw gauge. Let us discuss in detail about the parts of a screw gauge. So, here you have a U-shaped frame. Okay. Then you have the cylindrical part. This part is the circular scale or the head scale. Then you have a baseline. This is your main scale. This is the stud and here we have the screw. This is spindle. So, when you place an object, the object will be placed at this. If you need to measure the thickness of something, the object will be placed between the stud and the screw. This is how you will be placing it and you will be rotating to tighten this. Okay. Now, when you rotate, what happens? You can see this part will be moving. So, the main parts first is the circular scale we discussed. This is a circular scale and this on the circular scale you will be having 50 or 100 divisions. Then you will be having the main scale to read length correct up to 1 millimeter or 0 0.1 centimeter we need the main scale. Main scale is this line or it is called the base line. So, when you are rotating you can see that this part will be touching any of these values and that reading we will be taking. Okay. So, the reading that is the value that comes in front you will be taking. Next, you will be having the thimble to mark the circular scale. So, here you will be having this thing. Okay. So, where it is moving that is a hollow cylindrical part. Next, you have the ratchet to advance the screw by turning it till the object is gently held between the stud and the spindle of screw. So, you can see that when the object is placed you need something to move that is the head should be rotated. So, that part here you have this. Okay. So, you will be rotating it. What happens when you rotate? You can tighten it. That is the object will be tight here. So, one thing you have to remember is whenever you are measuring something. So, if you need to measure the breadth of something. Okay. In that case, you will place the object here and you will be rotating this. Okay. On rotating, you keep rotating and once you will be hearing a tuck sound. Once you hear that, you should not further rotate. That value should be taken. Okay? If it is to find the zero error or to find the correct exact value, the reading, main scale reading, you will be getting only when you take the first, when you first hear the sound, you have to take that correct reading. You should not tighten it more. Clear? So, pitch of a screw we have discussed. Now, what is the pitch of a screw gauge? The pitch of a screw gauge is the linear distance moved by its screw on the main scale when circular scale completes one full rotations. So, here we will be having the zero mark. Okay. So, when you take the zero mark of this circular scale or the head scale, from the zero mark you will start and make a complete rotation. And you will get a 0 again. Okay. If it is 75. Now this is 75. You make a complete rotation and here you end up with 75. Which means one rotation is complete. In this one rotation what happens? 
this will be moving forward okay that is the screw will be moving forward on the baseline you will be able to note the values so that distance that is moved will be the pitch of the screw gauge okay next the least count of a screw gauge we know to find the least count of a screw so the least count of a screw gauge is the linear distance moved by its screw along the main scale when the circular scale is rotated by one division on it that is least count will be this distance moved in one rotation is called the pitch so pitch of the screw gauge divided by total number of division on its circular scale will give you the least count now how to decrease the least count we have studied how to decrease the least count of a vernier caliper so least count of a screw gauge can be decreased by decreasing the pitch okay also least count of screw gauge can be decreased by increasing the number of divisions on head scale okay so there it was increasing the number of divisions on vernier scale so here it is increasing the number of divisions on the head scale or the circular head now what is zero error in a screw gauge we have studied the zero error in a vernier calipers now how to find the zero error in a screw gauge here again you will be having positive zero error and negative zero error we have understood what zero error is so when you take the device okay here we have the screw gauge so when you check the values that is this is your baseline okay when the spindle and the stud touch each other that is when you rotate it and first the sound comes you will stop there okay when you stop you should find the value okay here you can see that this is your zero okay this is a zero on the head scale or the circular head and this is a zero of the baseline you can see that this is below okay you can find the zero here and this zero on the head scale is below this baseline in that case we call it as positive zero error okay how to find positive zero error we have to take the value here it is 5 okay on the baseline which line is coinciding here the value is 5 so 5 into find the least count let's say the least count of this screw gauge is equal to 0 0.001 centimeters therefore 5 into 0 0.001 centimeters which is equal to 0 0.005 centimeters so if this zero is below the baseline we call it as positive zero error and you will have the positive sign here now what about negative zero error in case of negative zero error how does the figure look like in that figure what will be there you will be having the zero above the baseline okay above the baseline you will be having the zero in that case let's say it is 95 okay 95 is on the baseline so how to find the negative zero error negative zero error will be equal to 100 minus the value that is 95 into the least count that is 0 0.001 centimeter here you have to remember when you take the negative zero error when you take the negative zero error you should put a negative sign which is equal to minus 5 into 0 0.001 centimeter equal to minus 0 0.005 centimeter this is a negative zero error understood to how to find the positive zero error and negative zero error if it is below zero is below the baseline it is positive and above the baseline if you have zero then it is negative okay how to do measurement with a screw gauge here i am going to measure the thickness of this card using a screw gauge first we have to collect some details about the screw gauge to find the pitch of a, of the screw how to find the pitch of the screw in one rotation what is the distance move here the distance moved in one rotation is 0.1 centimeter total number of divisions on the circular scale there are 100 divisions then what is the least count of screw gauge least count is pitch divided by total number of divisions 0.1 by 100 which is 0 0.001 centimeter next to find zero error you have to tighten the screw gauge till you get the touch sound 
once you hear you will stop okay you can find the zero error so here the zero is above the baseline okay zero is above the baseline so negative zero error you will be having and the value is 99 therefore 100 minus 99 into the least count 0 0.001 which is equal to 100 minus 99 you will be getting it to be 1 okay therefore 0 0.001 centimeter is a zero error you have a negative sign negative zero error now we will repeat this experiment three times one two three so first time loosen the screw place a card here between the stud and the spindle tighten it so once you hear the sound we'll stop note the value here the main scale reading is 0 0.5 centimeters. Then we have to find the circular scale reading. Number of divisions of circular scale in line with the baseline. So here I am getting on the baseline 30. Okay. Therefore 30 into least count 0 0.001 centimeter which is equal to 0 0.03 centimeters. Okay, 0 0.03 centimeters. Now, the observed thickness is A plus B, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.03, which is equal to 0 0.53. Okay, now again I am repeating it, loosening the screw and placing it here, tightening. Once I hear the thug sound, I will be stopping. Again, I am getting the main scale. 0 0.5 and now the vernier scale is 31 31 into 0 0.001 which is equal to 0 0.031 centimeters on adding 0 0.5 plus 0 0031 which is equal to 0 0.531. Okay. Now the third time, again I am repeating it. Tightening the screw. I am getting 0 0.5. And this value, now I am getting it to be 29. So 29 into 0 0.001, which is equal to 0 0.0. 29 centimeters. So A plus B is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.029 equal to 0 0.529. Okay, you are getting three decimal values. Now you have to find the mean mean of the observed thickness. So we will be adding this, all these divided by 3. That is equal to 0. 530. You will be getting the mean observed reading to be equal to 0 0.530. Now to find the true thickness, we have got the mean of the observed thickness which is equal to, we got it to be equal to 0 0.530 centimeters. We have calculated the zero error. The zero error is negative zero error and the value is 0 0.530. 0, 0.001 centimeters. Now to get the true thickness, you have to subtract the zero error from the observed thickness, which is equal to 0 0.530 centimeter minus 0 0.001 centimeter, which is equal to 0 0.529 centimeter. So this is the true thickness, the actual thickness of the card that we have used. Next one kind of error is backlash error. This is mainly due to the wear and tear of the Threads. So here when you keep rotating it, in some cases what happened is the end of the screw, it won't be moving. Okay, that is it won't be show that is in one rotation, it won't be moving. In that case, you will be having these kinds of error too. In order to prevent these kinds of error, what can be done is always make rotations in one direction. So the next thing that you have to do is if you are, if you need to change the dire uh, direction of rotation, in that case, you will have to complete the rotation till it comes to a stop, only then do the rotation further in the opposite direction okay so in this case you can prevent in this way you can prevent the backlash error 
Example 3. In an instrument, there are 25 divisions on the vernier scale which have length of 24 divisions of the main scale. 1 centimeter on main scale is divided in 20 equal parts. Find the least count. What is the value of 1 main scale division here? Value of 1 main scale division. is equal to it is given that 1 centimeter on main scale is divided in 20 equal parts which means it will be 1 by 20 centimeter okay now what is the total number of divisions on the vernier scale in an instrument there are 25 divisions on vernier scale it is directly given number of divisions on the vernier scale n is equal to 25 okay this is represented as x x is 1 by 20 centimeter and number of divisions is 25 how to find the least count of a vernier least count is equal to value of one main scale division divided by number of divisions on the vernier scale so that is x by n 1 by 20 divided by 25 which is equal to 1 by 20 into 25 equal to 1 by 500. So, what is 1 by 500? You will be getting 0 0.002 centimeters. In centimeters, it is 0 0.002. 2 centimeter. So, this is the least count of the given instrument. Clear? Next example 4. The least count of a vernier calipers is 0 0.01 centimeter and its zero error is plus 0 0.02 centimeter. While measuring the length of a road, the main scale reading is 4.8 centimeter and sixth division on the vernier scale is in line with the marking on the main scale. Calculate the length of the road. So, here we have to calculate the length of road. So, length of road will be equal to observed reading minus zero error. So, here the zero error is given. Yes. So here, what is the least count? Given the least count is equal to 0 0.01 centimeter. Then zero error is given. Zero error. The sign is very important. Here it is positive sign plus 0 0.02 centimeter. Okay. First we need to find the observed reading. What is observed reading? Observed reading is equal to main scale reading MSR plus least count at we have to determine the value that is here it is given that sixth division on vernier scale is in line with the marking on the main scale. So, that is the coinciding value on the vernier scale we are taking which we represented by p. Okay. So, p into least count. So, here the p value is 6 and lc least count we have 0 0.01 putting the values msr mean scale reading Main scale reading is given that is 4.8 plus P is 6 into least count is 0 0.01 which is equal to 4.8 plus 0 0.06 that is 4.86 centimeter. Okay. So, the observed reading is 4.86 centimeter. Now, from this observed reading, we will be subtracting the zero error to get the length of the road. So, length of road is equal to observed reading which is 4.86 minus 0 error that is 0 0.02. Here it is positive sign. Okay. We will be getting 4.84 centimeter which is the actual length of the road. Clear? Example 5. The circular head of a screw gauge is divided into 50 divisions and the screw moves 1 millimeter head in two revolutions of the circular head. Find its pitch and least count. Okay. Here what is given? Number of divisions on circular head is equal to 50. 
ओके इट इज गिवन द डिस्टेंस मूड डिस्टेंस मूड इन टू रेवल्यूशन इज इक्वल टू वन मिलीमीटर वॉट इज वन मिलीमीटर इट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सेंटीमीटर ओके देन वॉट इज द डिस्टेंस मूड इन वन रेवल्यूशन डिस्टेंस मूड इन वन रेवल्यूशन विल गिव यू द पिच पिच इज इक्वल टू सो द ए पार्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड द पिच पिच इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस मूड इन वन रेवल्यूशन दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सेंटीमीटर डिवाइडेड बाई टू विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव सेंटीमीटर इफ यू नीड इट इन मिलीमीटर जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मिलीमीटर्स ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड द लीज काउंट वी नो लीज काउंट इज इक्वल टू इन केस ऑफ अ स्क्रू गेज लीज काउंट इज इक्वल टू पिच डिवाइडेड बाई नंबर ऑफ डिविशंस on circular head which is equal to pitch we have determined 0.05 cm divided by number of divisions on circular head what is the number of divisions which is 50 50 it is given in the question is equal to 5 divided by 5000 or 1 by 1000 equal to 0.001 centimeters if it is in centimeters you will get this value or 0.01 millimeters okay so this is your final answer now let us do numericals from exercise 1b exercise 1b question 1 a stopwatch has 10 divisions graduated between the 0 and 5 second marks what is its least count we have to find the least count here we have to find the range first okay range is equal to 0 and 5 seconds mark which means 5 seconds minus 0 seconds will give you the range that is equal to 5 seconds okay then what is the total number of divisions number of divisions is given number of divisions is equal to 10 how to find the least count least count will be equal to range divided by number of divisions which is equal to 5 seconds divided by 10 that is 0.5 seconds therefore the least count of the given stopwatch is equal to 0.5 seconds question 4 of exercise 1b a boy uses vernier calipers to measure the thickness of his pencil he measures it to be 1.4 mm if the zero error of vernier calipers is plus 0.02 cm what is the correct thickness of pencil how to get the correct thickness correct thickness will be equal to observed reading minus zero error what is given in the question observed reading is given observed reading is equal to 1.4 mm what is the zero error zero error is equal to plus 0.02 cm so first thing you the unit should be same here it is in mm and here it is in cm either you have to convert this into cm or you have to convert this into mm okay what is 0.02 cm in mm you will be getting plus 0.2 mm okay now we can find the correct thickness correct thickness is equal to 1.4 mm minus the zero error which is 0.2 mm is equal to 1.2 mm okay so 1.2 mm is the correct thickness of the pencil question 9 of exercise 1b the pitch of a screw gauge is 0.5 mm and the head scale is divided in 100 parts what is the least count of a screw gauge very simple question right you know the pitch is given pitch is equal to 0.5 mm number of divisions on head scale is given number of divisions on circular head 
is equal to 100. It is divided into 100 parts means the number of division will be 100. Then the least count is equal to pitch divided by number of divisions on circular head which is equal to 0 0.5 millimeter divided by 100 equal to 0 0.005 millimeter if you have to convert it into centimeters 0 0.0005 centimeters just remember this thing 1 centimeter is 10 millimeters okay then 1 millimeter will be 1 by 10 centimeter here 0 0.0 0 0.005 millimeters will be equal to 0 0.005 by 10 centimeter which is 0 0.0005 centimeters clear that's all for today in today's class we have discussed how to measure length using screw gauge and vernier calipers we have studied the parts of these we have also solve problems related to this from exercise 1b hope you all enjoyed the session i'll be back in the next session until then stay tuned to learn how learn how free hai par best hai thank you